This is Terry Collins with It's All About Sports, and I'm here with the 12 and under Arbutus Golden Eagles. And we're here at the in Middletown, Delaware, at the National Youth Football Championship. Um, and I have here with me this uh, team who is actually the longest program in the U.S., correct? Yeah, we're the longest running program in the United States. Been on Hold on. One year straight. Okay, let me just, first of all, get you to introduce yourself. My name is Butch Mullen. I'm the assistant head coach of Arbutus 12U. Hi, my name is Nick Mullen. I'm the head coach at 12U. My name is Connor Hawkins. I play quarterback for 12U. I'm Jacob Tritz, and I play left tackle or center for Arbutus 12U. And I'm Jacob Tritz's mom, better known as Scooby. And <laughs> I'm just a proud mom to be here. Okay, and tell us a little bit about this program here. Um, we used to be the Arbutus Boys Club, um, and uh, through war, recession, we've never missed a season at all. Um, we are very proud to be the longest running program in the country. Um, we have kids from the ages of 5 to 14. Uh, we funnel a lot of kids into the private schools in Maryland, uh, some of them being the top private schools, the St. Francis, I think is ranked number four in the country. Um, and it, and it's, a, it's a great honor to be able to force these kids into well. Not force, but help these kids progress into these private schools and um, make better men out of them. And Coach, tell us uh, how have you guys managed to continue to carry on that tradition through so many years with the changeover of different kids coming in? Uh, I would say mostly it's, it's a great family organization. Uh, many kids come in. They tell their friends to come there. It's, it's all through Baltimore County. We had kids travel from Carroll County. We have kids travel from Montgomery County. It just goes on and on, and I guess since we've been going on for so long and it hasn't been any trouble and it's such a family organization, people just keep coming. Okay, and you guys had an a excellent game here tonight. Um, what, what did it feel like being out there uh, playing against another team of, from, you know, maybe a different area and the performance you guys put up tonight? I mean, I treat it like every other game. Winning, I, I, I didn't know we were going to win, but I was confident in my team that we were going to win, and I just – was a leader and stepped up and helped us win. And Connor, first of all, I want to um, talk about uh, you had multiple touchdowns a day. I believe you scored maybe three different ways. Um, how big is that for you, not from a standpoint as far as individual, but knowing that you are helping carry your team uh, to this victory to be able to move forward to uh, a possible chance at Canton, Ohio? I mean, it all started with my team and the blocking up front. I, they know, like, they know if I get the ball, they know they're going to go put a hat on somebody because they treat me like I'm their mom or something. Like, <laughs> and he, don't let him get touched. It all started with them, and then I find the hole, and I hit it, and I do the rest and take it to the house. And when you're out there playing and you have a situation where you have a kickoff return or an interception return, is there one that's more important to you than the other? No. It's not. I mean, I'm scoring my – teammates, I'm going to give them the glory because without them, I can't score because I need them to block. For me. Okay. And Coach, real quick, I want to talk about the tradition of your program. Um, as mentioned earlier, um, a lot of your uh, coaches now, you actually coach them coming up. So it's a trickle-down effect. How even more special is that for you to be able to see the kids that you instilled things into to come back to help you also instill things into these kids? It's a special event to watch the kids go away to college or go away into their jobs that once played for me. And then they come back, and I'm actually surrounded with a coaching staff of guys that played for me, one of them being my son. Um, there's, there's no better feeling than that when they're constantly coming back and feeding into a program. And I think that's what makes our program so strong and makes us – uh, go for 91 years is the family orientation that comes in just like these young men we're coaching now we have one on the team little reds i tell them every day i can't wait until you're coaching because i hope i'm coaching with you might be 90 in a wheelchair but i'll be with you <laughs> now and for you um obviously football's a football teams are usually like family but for you it's even two times that being that you know this is your father and now you're actually able to sit here and coach under him uh, along with these kids. Talk to us about that experience for you. Um, I mean, it's great as a son to be in charge of my father. That's just... <laughs> 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 but, um, no, it's a great feeling. I mean, 
it's it, the coaching staff. It's truly family. I have all my best friends. I'm actually getting married, and they're my, they're my groomsmen. So we've been together for since we were five, elementary school all the way up. Nick Farmer, which runs our special teams, went away to college, played for Shepard, come back, as the coach. Our other coach, Dylan Higgins, assistant offensive coordinator and line coach. I've been friends with him for a long time, played football with him also. We were all on the team. And also Dewan Austin, I grew up in elementary school and played high school with him. And I started building a coaching staff, and I've been with my father for about eight seasons now. And the last three seasons, we're 34-1, and one, and them three have helped us tremendously. Okay, and talk to me about how you guys – are a, a team unit with uh, playing together to be able to try to focus on being able to make it to Canton, Ohio? Well, we are family because we all band together and work together. That way we can win the games. Okay. And, Mom, what is it uh, – how do you feel sitting back watching these kids? Obviously, we see a lot of excitement this weekend. What is it like for you as a parent to sit back and watch these kids do their thing? It's incredible to watch the kids and the passion from the coaches. It's just not all about the football. It's about family. It's about working together. It's about heart. And my kid started when he was eight years old. And all the other boys that he played with, most of them started two or three years before him. My son doesn't even watch football on TV. He comes to football practice. He does what he's supposed to do. He does what his coaches ask him to do. He does it pretty well, as far as I'm concerned, but considering that he doesn't watch football at all. Like, when he comes home, football's left on the field. So he comes, and he's a teammate, and he does what he's supposed to do for his team, helps his team. It makes me proud that he's making his coaches proud. Well, there you have it from the Arbutus 12 and under Golden Eagles. A big win here tonight, and I continue to move forward to answer the call to the hall. And I'm Terry Collins with It's All About Sports, and we'll be back with more interviews and more action next.